Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing good and today I am here with the fifth video of the video series on electric current and its effects class 7 science and this video is all about questions. So we have covered the entire theory and the concept in the previous four videos of this entire playlist. So this video is dedicated to questions and this is going to be a very important one because we will cover a lot of conceptual questions which will help you to look at the applications of the theory. So be with me till the end of the video. Question number one. Draw the symbols to represent the following components of electrical circuits. Wires, cell, battery, bulb, switch in on and off position. So for wire we use straight lines, for cell we use two vertical lines, positive terminal represented by the longer line and negative terminal represented by the shorter line. Battery is nothing but combination of cells such that positive terminal of cell 1 is connected to the negative terminal of cell 2 and so on. Bulb which is normally represented like this. Switch in off condition is this way where you have the circuit open because of which current doesn't flow through the circuit and switch on is like is a closed circuit where current flows through the circuit. Question number two. Draw the circuit diagram to represent the circuit as shown in the figure. So if you look at this circuit, you have wires, you have a bulb, you have a battery and they are all connected with the help of a safety pin. So you see when the safety pin is connected to this, current will flow. When the safety pin is not connected, the current will not flow. So when you actually try to uh, draw this, this is how it would be. So instead of this bulb, we would draw the normal uh, symbol for bulb. We will also draw a switch and the action of switch is being done by the safety pin here. And then we have a cell. So this is how the cell would be drawn, right? So in this, when the switch is open, when the circuit is open, in that case, there will be no current flow through the circuit. So this is open circuit. Now, as soon as you switch it on, what happens? Now, when you switch it on, this is how the circuit looks like. So the switch is on now. And at this point of time, the bulb starts glowing. So this is a closed circuit. So in this circuit, current flows through the circuit. Question number three. Figure shows four cells fixed on a board. Draw lines to indicate how you will connect their terminals with wires to make a battery. So how do you connect them to make a battery? As I have mentioned always that it is it all it is always needed to remember that a positive terminal of one cell will always be connected to the negative terminal of the next cell and so on. So here this is one cell two cell three and cell four. So positive terminal of the first cell. So one way of connecting them is that positive of first cell gets connected to the negative of cell 2. Again positive of cell 2 gets connected to the negative of cell 3. And again the positive of cell 3 gets connected to the negative of cell 4. So that is one option. The other option could also be that the negative of first cell gets connected to the positive of cell 2. So basically the same thing. It is just that the opposite pole should get connected. Opposite terminal should get connected. And the negative of cell 2 should get connected with the positive of cell 3. Again the negative of cell 3 gets connected to the positive of cell 4. So any of these would do. So in any by any of these ways we can make a battery of these four cells. So all you need to remember is positive terminal of one cell should be connected to the negative terminal of the next cell or vice versa. Question number four. The bulb in the circuit shown in the figure does not glow. Can you identify the problem? Make necessary changes in the circuit to make the bulb glow. Now what could be the reason why the bulb is not glowing? Obviously current is not flowing through the circuit. So one reason could be the circuit is open. But here if you look at the switch, the switch is in on state. So the circuit is closed. 
So that is not the reason. What else could be the reason? Maybe the cell is not generating electricity. So here if you say there are two cells, cell 1 and cell 2 which have joined together to form a battery. But if you look at their arrangement, they are not arranged in the right way. As I said, the positive terminal of one cell should be connected to the negative terminal of the other cell. But here if you see positives and positives are connected together. Therefore, the battery is not able to generate electricity and that is why the bulb is not glowing. So what we have to do is we have to arrange the two cells in the right way. So you see now we have connected positive and connected the negative and the positives together and now here the bulb glows. So this was the problem. Question number five. Name any two effects of electric current. So the two important effects that we discussed, one is the heating effect of current where we saw that when current passes through a wire, it produces heat and this application is widely used in a lot of devices like iron, geysers, um, immersion rods, uh, room heaters, etc. The other effect is the magnetic effect of current where we saw that current carrying conductor can actually behave like a magnet and this magnetic effect of current is again used in electromagnets which find wide variety of applications in electric bells, motors, um, loudspeakers and so Question number six. When the current is switched on through a wire, a compass needle kept nearby gets deflected from its north-south position. Explain. Now, this is all about the magnetic effect of current. So, you have current passing through this wire. When you put the compass needle near it, the deflection happens because a magnetic field is created by the current flowing through the conductor. Now, this needle is nothing but a tiny magnet itself. Now, when a magnetic field is created, the magnet will get deflected. The magnet will feel the attraction. So, as a result, it deflects. So, the current flowing through the conductor creates magnetic field. Compass needle under the magnetic field shows deflection. Why it shows deflection? Because the needle itself is a tiny magnet. Question number seven. Will the compass needle show deflection when the switch in the circuit shown by the figure is closed? So you see the switch is closed. That means the switch is off. So the circuit is basically open. Now when the circuit is open, so this is open circuit. So in open circuit, there will be no current flowing through it. Now, if there is no current flowing, obviously there will be no magnetic field produced. And when there is no magnetic field produced, there will be no deflection in the compass needle. So no deflection would be seen because first of all, there is no cell to generate current in the circuit. So if you look at it, right now the circuit is open. So even if you switch it on, so do you see a cell in the circuit, there is no cell at all. So there is nobody to generate electricity. So in both the scenarios, there will be no current flow. First scenario, a cell is there, but the switch is open. Second scenario, the switch is closed, but there is no cell in the circuit. So in both the cases, there would be no current flowing through the circuit. Therefore, no magnetic field will be produced. Hence, no deflection in the compass needle. Question number eight, fill in the blanks. Longer line in the symbol for a cell represents its, this is the symbol for a cell. So the longer terminal is always the positive terminal. The combination of two or more cells is called a battery. So when we need more electric current to be generated, we combine multiple cells to form a battery. When current is switched on in a room heater, it dash. So in a room heater, we have the heating element. So whenever we switch on the current, the current produces heat. As a result, what happens? Heat is released. So it produces heat. The safety device based on the heating effect of electric current is called a fuse is one such safety device. How? Why is it a safety device? Because it prevents the damage of various electrical devices from excessive flow of current. So whenever it sees a faulty condition in the circuit, it stops or prevents the excessive flow of current. Question number nine. Mark T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. 
To make a battery of two cells, the negative terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the other cell. This is absolutely false because as I have been telling that it is always important that the negative terminal of one cell should be connected to the positive terminal of the next cell. When the electric current through the fuse exceeds a certain limit, the fuse wire melts and breaks. Yes, of course. And as the wire breaks, the circuit is not complete and therefore further current can't flow through the circuit. An electromagnet does not attract a piece of iron. This is again false because electromagnet, at the moment electricity passes through the electromagnet, it produces magnetic field and iron piece will be attracted by the magnetic field. So electromagnet also behaves like a magnet and therefore it attracts a piece of iron. An electric bell has an electromagnet. Yes, of course, an electromagnet plays the most crucial role inside an electric bell. Question number 10. Do you think an electromagnet can be used for separating plastic bags from a garbage heap? Not really because electromagnet is capable of attracting only magnetic materials. Now plastic is not magnetic in nature. Plastic doesn't get attracted when a magnet is placed near it. So electromagnet would be useful only for separating ferromagnetic materials like iron. So it is not going to help in case of plastic materials because it is not a magnetic material. Question number 11. An electrician is carrying out some repairs in your house. He wants to replace a fuse by a piece of wire. Would you agree? Give reasons for your response. So replacing a fuse by a wire. Do you understand the meaning of this? Fuse is something which has a special wire which is made up of a metal which has considerably low melting point so that whenever there is too much of current it immediately melts and it can prevent the entire circuit from high amount of current. So that's the purpose of fuse and that is why fuse is a safety device. Now instead of fuse is if we are using a normal wire what will happen? A normal wire would not serve the purpose because a normal wire might have a very high melting point. So it will not melt even when a very high amount of current is passing through the circuit. So it will not act as a safety device. So therefore it is not at all advisable to replace a fuse by a wire. So obviously not. Fuse is a safety device. Fuse prevents damage due to excessive current flow which cannot be done by the wire. Because mostly the normal wires which are used uh, in the electric circuits, they have very high melting point. But while choosing the wire in a fuse, the fuse filament basically, it is taken care that it has a considerably low melting point so that it melts and breaks during excess current. So we can say that fuse filament, that is the wire inside the fuse, has considerably or comparatively low melting point and that is the property because of which fuse is important. Most of the normal wires have high melting points therefore they can't substitute fuses. Question number 12. In the circuit shown in the figure, would any of the bulb glow when the switch is in the off position? Now when the switch is off, what happens? The circuit is actually open. The circuit is not complete. So obviously none of the bulb would glow. So none of the and either none of A, B, C would glow. What will be the order in which? Okay, so none would glow. What will be the order in which the bulbs A, B, and C would glow? when the switch is moved to the on position. Now the moment we make switch it on, what happens? Current flows through the entire circuit. Now when current flows through the entire circuit, all the bulbs will be on simultaneously. So all the bulbs would glow simultaneously. I hope you found the video useful. If you have a feedback to share, do let us know in the comment section. If you really like the video, what are you supposed to do? You are definitely supposed to like as well as share the video. I will meet you all very soon with a new video with a new topic. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.